Hi, welcome to my first quick coffee break tip. We will show you, or I will show you, how to place a, a Google Earth map as an underlay into your HockeyCAD worksheet. Right, I'm in Google Earth, obviously I'm looking for an address up here. So we click search and go there. So this is my, um, this is my site where I place my new buildings. Make sure you, as you can see, you have to make sure you really straight up. Okay, and what we do is here, is make sure we scale this correct. That's what the tutorial is really about. How do you get the correct scale into ArchiCAD? So I've got, um, as you can see, I've got my two buildings here, and that's the ground floor. And I want to use now, as a worksheet, a Google Earth map. So we go back here, and we just take a screenshot. Okay, now we place the screenshot into a new worksheet. Over here, we take a worksheet there, and we say new worksheet. Let's do the O2, um, Google Earth. Earth map, yeah, there we go. And I paste my screenshot in there. Voila, right. Now, how do we quickly resize this? You go back to Google Earth and you just pick two points that's sort of really clear to pick. As example, I, I like this middle of the roundabout there. And let's go over here to this white car. Click there, middle of the roundabout, click again. There you go. So we got 522.93 meters. Back to ArchiCAD, you select and you resize this now graphically. And we go to the white car and we go back to our roundabout in the middle, which is 5. 2930 I'm working millimeters. Hit enter and we go back. So this should be now the correct size. To see if that's correct, let's go back to our ground floor plan and I will now show this map as a trace reference. There you go. Alright, let's Move this, what you do is you right click and go trace, drag reference, zoom in here, and I would think I will take the corner fence here. So I'll just click there and we move it to. There we go. This should fit pretty good. So you can see I use this a lot in reference in the active, so we can just sort of fade, fade our reference out. There you go. Okay, I think that fits pretty well. And now I can start adding some surroundings myself to do my 3D visual I have to do for the client. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick coffee break tip and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.